Well, good evening folks. As you can see, I'm back at the pond and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of catfishing here for you today. We catch some big ones, so stay tuned. So what I'm aiming for is the tip of this deadfall. It's falling down right here and stretches all the way out to about right here. So I'm gonna cast right off the end of that because I think these fish could be holding up in it. Now it's not gonna be a real far cast, but just right off the tip of that deadfall is where it's gonna land. And I'm gonna let line out here, let make sure she's on the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead, stick her down and tighten the line up and there you go just like that you're fishing and for the midsection I want to do a little experiment we're gonna see which one gets bit quicker so I'm gonna start a timer as soon as I cast this midsection out of which one is getting bit the quickest so maybe next time i'll be able to know use the midsection instead of the head guys i just got bit i just turned the camera off and got bit on this rod already i don't think anything is on there they're hungry Nothing's on there. I'm gonna let it back down. And man, this might be one of those days where I gotta keep the GoPro rolling just to catch these bites. Cause man, they're going quick. They're definitely going quick. All right, guys, I'll see you when I got a fish on. It's bleeding out. Getting a bite on this blue rod here. My bait caster. I just saw the line jump off the water. This this pole just fell in the water. <laughs> See if we got one. He got off. Gosh dang it. He got off. He was on he had that bait in his mouth. I mean this pole went to the ground, baby. To the ground. It's where you'd like it to go. Looks like the bait held on there too. I'm just gonna re rethread this. Try to, anyways. That's good there. Let line out. Let it sink, and then we'll reel in just to get a nice tight line. That looks good. See if he won't bite again. Guys, hooked up. I got one. I couldn't get the camera on to get the bite, but man, he's a head shaker. Got him good. Got him good. That was quick, too. Real quick. Looks like a channel or something. Here it comes. Oh, that's a good eater there. Nice little channel catfish. Flip him up here. It's a good one. First fish of the day. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. It's like a small channel catfish. Pretty good looking one. Get the weeds off him here. He ain't nothing to call home about, but he ain't bad either. Circle hook did its job real well. He's barking at me. He's 
says, let me go, let me go. I'm gonna have to get the pliers. There we go, first fish of the day. A pretty good one. This dang hook don't want to come out of his mouth. Don't want to come out at all. This might be one that I have to keep just because he's not, this hook ain't coming out very good, which I don't like, I know, it sucks, but it's just how it is sometimes. This will be a keeper. I'll keep this one, he'll make a good meal. Got some good little fillets on there. Be nice for a little single one person fish fry so i got the kitty cat taken care of got him down there in the bucket and make sure what i'm gonna do is make sure my hook is good still nice and sharp so i'm gonna throw it back out there and uh catch me another I actually was planning on keeping a fish to fry, so that turned out good. A nice little eater channel. That will be the only one I'm keeping today. I'm not trying to put this ponds. I'm not trying to put these uh, cat or these catfish in this pond to extinction. I'm just trying to have a nice, honest meal. Toss this one out here and maybe we'll get catch another one for the camera. So what I was thinking is I'm gonna switch to a little bit smaller of a presentation. Just cause those channel that channel catfish that I caught, his mouth is not very big. But look at this right here. Got a bite. Got one on. Missed it. Already. Spot's hot, baby. Spot's hot. It's a great sign. Great sign. Hoping that wasn't a turtle. I really don't think it was, but definitely could have been. It was kind of moving like a turtle. It wasn't jumping on the line. It was more of like drag, just taking the line out. So I just threaded this minnow on here like this. I might even hook him once more. Just to make sure he's on there good. That looks good. And I'll cast him out. I'll probably try to put him close to the same spot as this other pole, just right off the tip of this tree. And reel it in some, drop it right there. Right off the tip of the tree. Almost right on the tree. I had a bite. He came off though. Seems like he picked it up and then let it go.
I'm gonna go ahead and check my bait because I bet he stole it. It's a pretty good bite. I mean, the rod was tilted back. Yeah, he took my bait. As you can see, there ain't nothing left on that hook. I'll rebait and we'll get after him again. Got one on here. It's a good one. Feels like it could be another channel. It's a little bit bigger though. Man, he took it quick. Let me tell you that. It's a good one, yeah. It's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's big papa there. Big old papa. All right, that's a pretty good one. Oh man, that's a nice one. That's a real good channel. Oh my gosh, dude. Check that out. That's a good channel. Man. Oh, barely hooked too. Check it, that just came out. Let me go get the fish grabber. Cause man, I don't wanna be. I don't want to be spied by one of these dudes. That's a good one, baby. That's a good one. Y'all seeing this? That's a good one, man. That's a good one out on the old pond. I'd probably say that's... That's a good four and a half, five pounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at it compared to my other one. Check this out. This one? Dude, look at the tummy on that guy. This is my channel that I caught first. And look at this one. Absolute behemoth. Big daddy. Big old daddy. That's a good one there. Not not too bad for a pond. I'm not going to keep this guy. I already got what I want. I already got what I want. Nope, nope, nope. Calm it down, bud. Calm it down. Let him go. And there he goes. Back into the deep, baby. Back into the deep. That was a good one, man. Easy four pounds. Maybe even could have been six or seven, man. That was actually a pretty nice fish. Good for a pond. Real nice for a pond. All right, let's catch another. I guess I'll rig this pole back up. I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, I used the whole minnow on that one. Maybe that's the strategy, guys. Using the whole minnow. That could definitely be it. So I'm just going to do that, show you guys that again, how I rigged him. How I rigged that minnow on there. The, the other one was a little bit bigger than this one, but same, same idea. Right up through the bottom and through the nose. And then you're just going to thread it on there through the stomach. Just right like that. And then what I did for this one was I cut the stomach open and just kind of let the guts hang. That could have made the difference in that catch. I'm not too sure. But it definitely might have helped. So we'll just try to cast this. That's not where I want to do that.
I wanted to show you guys that bite on camera, but dude, he went, that pole went straight down very quickly. Quicker than I'd expect it to go. I mean, it went right to the ground. No wonder it was a pretty good fish. Pretty good fish. Right there is a good cast. We'll just let that hit the bottom like I did last time. Set, set, set it down and then reel it. Just to get that slack out of the line. And that circle hook did exactly what it was meant to do. Just hook him right in the center of the mouth. Even though I let him eat. He didn't choke on that hook. He didn't choke at all. Alright, good sign. Alrighty guys. That's going to do it for today's video. I'm just heading out now. And wanted to do a little recap. So I caught those small channels. In my first spot. And then I got that big one. I mean... Man, I don't know. I said four or five pounder, but I think it was six or seven. It had a big old tummy on her. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.